of the video that will answer all your questions about what the IB has in store for you. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. The International Baccalaureate Diploma Program is a program aimed at students aged 16 to 19 around 140 countries in the world. It was founded in Geneva, Switzerland in 1968. Each student picks six subjects from six groups. Group 1 is Language and Literature, where a student studies literature for a subject that they are already fluent in. Group 2 is Language Acquisition, where a student learns a new language. Group 3 is Individuals and Societies, which includes subjects such as Psychology or Economics. Group 4 is Sciences, which includes all the science subjects such as Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Computer Science. Group 5 is Mathematics, which is compulsory for all students. Group 6 is the Arts. Now, there are some cases where a student can choose to opt out from choosing a subject from one group and do two subjects from another group. For example, if a student is bilingual, they can choose to do two literature subjects from group 1 and choose to opt out from learning a new language in group 2. In this scenario, they get a bilingual diploma. Instead of choosing to do a subject from group 6, which is the Arts, some students choose to do two science subjects from group 4. In some cases, students even choose to do three science subjects and they opt out from the subjects from group 6 and group 3, which is individuals and societies. Now, each student has to choose three subjects at standard level, which is SL, and three subjects at higher level, which is HL. Students have to complete a little more syllabus in subjects chosen at higher level as compared to subjects chosen at standard level. For each of the six subjects in the IB program, there are internal assessments that the students have to complete. For literature subjects, there are internal orals instead of internal assessments. For the individual oral, the student chooses a topic from literary and non-literary works that they have studied in their subject, and they are asked to speak for 10 minutes uninterrupted before the examiner asks a question related to the student's oral for 5 minutes. For language B, the student is shown two previously unseen photographs with a title or a caption selected by the teacher. Each photograph is related to a different option studied in class. The student chooses one of the photographs and prepares a presentation in 15 minutes, presents it in 3-4 to four minutes, after which a discussion with the teacher asking questions is held for 5-6 to six minutes. For other subjects, the IA is an essay which is roughly 1500-2000 to 2000 words that a student has to do about a certain topic in that subject. Now, moving on, along with the six compulsory subjects that students have to pick from these six groups, there is also three extra things that students have to keep in mind. Theory of knowledge is one of them. It provides an opportunity for students to reflect upon the nature of things and how we know what we know. Theory of knowledge is composed almost entirely of questions. The most central of these is, how do we know? Through TOK, students are able to study topics that aren't in the usual high school course syllabus. Now, there are two components of the TOK that a student has to complete to pass the IB program. One of them is the exhibition. Now, the TOK exhibition explores how TOK manifests in the world around us by creating an exhibition of three objects or images of objects that connect to only one of the themes, either core or optional and only one of the 35 prompts provided by the IB. The second important part of the TOK is the TOK essay. Each title raises generic cross-disciplinary questions about knowledge and the student is expected to consider the issues raised in the title and reach conclusions about them. The essay should put forward claims and counterclaims, linking knowledge issues to areas of knowledge and ways of knowing, and show evidence of original thinking by the student. The other very important thing of the IB program is the extended essay. The extended essay is a 400 word essay which is done on a topic from any subject that a student is studying in the IB program. Must pick one research question which they are going to base the entire essay upon. The essay consists of a title page, an index, and for example for assigned students, if they choose a research question based on an experiment. The essay will include background information about that research question, any research that has been done, any background knowledge that they should know before going into the experiment. And in the end, students must use references to cite all the background researches that they have researched upon while they write the essay. 
Now the last thing that can be linked back to whether the student will gain their diploma or not is the CAS. CAS is made up of three strands, creativity, activity, and service. A creativity can include sketching, painting, singing. Activity can include any physical activity that you may do like walking, working out, or playing a sport. Service consists of anything that you may do that would benefit your community, like tutoring kids from your neighborhood or doing an internship. Students must perform CAS continuously throughout the two years of their program and with at least one activity, creativity or service act per week. Students also have to complete a CAS project by the end of the two years in which they must incorporate at least one of the three categories of creativity, activity or service. It must be a collaboration with others, must involve planning and initiating experiences in a leadership role before and during the project. And the CAS project must challenge you towards a new role and it must include global and ethical implications. The Group 4 project is a collaborative effort which encourages students to consider the ethical, environmental and social implications of science. Students working in groups of four to six members develop a common problem. There is a strong emphasis on teamwork, sharing of ideas and cooperation. An entry is written each time you work on any part of the project. A time log is used to record what each member did that day. You spend around 10 to 15 hours collecting the data, planning, preparing, practicing your interactive demonstration and preparing your presentation. Then the report is submitted. You can choose various methods to display the data and information you have collected. You can create one or more posters or brochures. Even if you're taking multiple science subjects, you only have to do one group 4 project. The most important part of this video how the IB scores students. There's 45 points in total, of which seven are for each of the six subjects, and the remaining three are for the TOK and the extended essay. There's no grade for CAS, but if you don't fulfill the CAS requirements needed, you don't get the diploma. TOK and EE are both graded with letters A to E. You need at least one A and one B in both of them to gain three points. If you don't, you get, for example, two points for two Bs. Now that's about everything a student has to do in the IB program. It may seem way too much work for you, but in the end, it's not that difficult. I'm one year into my IB program, and honestly, if you know how to manage your time and stress, there's nothing you can't do, and the IB isn't as difficult as people say it is. That's it for me. If you like this video, like and comment and subscribe. And thank you. Bye-bye. Honestly, if you know how to manage your time and stress, there's nothing you can't do, and the IB is a piece of cake.